a tease of Trump protests Stapleton, New York. A day earlier, Gary Nystrom of Boone, Iowa, was elated as he stood on the National Mall to watch Trump sworn in, calling it a victory for the silent majority. Many worn it in pink cat-eared pussy hats, an appropriated reference to Trump's post in a 2005 video made public weeks before the election about grabbing women's genitals. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said on Saturday that he was requiring health insurance companies to cover medically necessary abortions and most forms of contraception at no cost to women. His bigotry and his views towards women are extremely troubling to me. Sister March sponsors posted some 670 gatherings around the world in solidarity with the Washington event, estimating a global turnout of more than 4.6 million participants tallied through online March registrations, although those numbers could not be independently verified. Saturday's march in Washington overwhelmed the city's metro subway system, with enormous crowds reported and some stations temporarily forced to turn away riders. Trump, in a Twitter post on Saturday, wrote, I am honored to serve you, the great American people, as your 45th President of the United States. Marchers took to the streets near the National Mall in Washington, D.C., calling for women's rights and voicing their opposition to the newly inaugurated President Donald Trump. The truth of the matter is he had a successful inauguration with a respectful crowd. Carrying signs that said, Dear Trump, don't be the person we think and I wish your inauguration was fake news. Dot. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease Second Mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.